In this lesson, we are going to create such a this, uh, such a such a this project. As you can see, we use a directly shader effector, shader effector here, the MuGraph effector shader directly assign them to the polygon objects, and with a shader here in the surface, you can assign a lot of interesting black and white code to really displace of the polygon nice okay let's do that okay in this sim simple example let's uh, bring two plane holding control to uh, copy them we want to create two shader effector and assign them to these planes <clears throat> and we are going to make them both high poly to better see our results nice first <clears throat> we assign uh, two shader effector to shader effector shader effector number one assign uh, child of the plane these are purple and in a shader number one, as you can see, it's uh, changing the scale, but uh, it's important. I want to change the position of that. And in this number, we can change them later. Do the same for that, change the position. I want to use black and white code to uh, create a vortex in the fire, real changing the polygon. <clears throat> so that's nice okay for the first and the second for the first uh, the both of them you can go select holding shift to both of them change both of them to point important the deformation need a point because we want to change real point for the first go into the shading and in the custom shading open this and in the surface we have a lots of black and white code here. Uh, find cyclone. And as you can see, as soon as we create cyclone, it's up in here. We can right click here, <clears throat> go to cyclone, right click and animate. As you can see, this is a black and white code that has an animate in Cinema 4D. And as I said before, the black area is zero. It's going down white area is one 100 percent of that parameter or that strings and the gray color in between uh, black and white go uh, make this a slopes or go between <clears throat> nice so if you play it you can see the vortex is like you can go to the your shader in a parameter and make them a little smoother or you can assign the plane for example assign the plane on uh, this oops assign the plane to subsurface scattering uh, sorry for uh, subdivision surface to make them smoother nice another shader here you can go to so so the deformer is important going to the shader the custom I will be explain all of this in the next series of lessons. Don't worry. Go to the surface. And in this case, you can create a fire. Interesting. You can turn this shader off. As you can see, you can make it fire. It's really changing the position of the polygon. Nice. Let's change the scale. That's what happened. Nothing happened because we need change movement of your object. You can increase or decrease this movement. If you go into the shading and look at this, if you animate, as you can see, this is our fire. This, the black area is exactly one uh, zero percent of that parameter that assigned. That is Y position. And based of the color code, in this case is red and the 
yellow. They are including some white code, as you can see. And according to the white and black code here, you can assign, change your position of polygon. So in this lesson, you learn how to create, use a shader to animating the polygon of the object. The effector and the motion graphics is powerful, nice. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.